Amphipods are tiny crustaceans in the order Amphipoda. There are thousands of species that have been found worldwide in marine, freshwater, and terrestrial habitats. Some species live in caves. Most amphipods are marine. They inhabit almost every marine ecosystem, from beaches to the deepest parts of the ocean. They have been found in waters with twice the salinity of the ocean. One group, called landhoppers, are fully terrestrial. Amphipods are most abundant in cool and temperate environments. They usually have a laterally compressed, comma-shaped body with 13 body segments and three pairs of tail appendages called uropods at the end of the abdomen. They have two pairs of antennae and many legs with different functions. The first two legs are modified to grasp food. The pleopods can be used for swimming and waving water across the gills. They have a heart with an open circulatory system. They generally have a pair of compound eyes, but most subterranean species, and some that inhabit deep waters, are eyeless. Ventral gills are located on the thorax for gas exchange. Amphipods are highly mobile organisms. They may scuttle, skip, or swim to escape predators. Most are free-living. Many species are strong swimmers. Some swim sideways. They can also walk on sediments or burrow into them to avoid light. They may be scavengers, detritivores, filter feeders, predators, or herbivores. A few are parasitic. Most species are smaller than a third of an inch. Although, a few species in the deep sea can be giants, like the supergiant amphipod, reaching over 13 inches long. Amphipods may feed on things like algae, detritus, small crustaceans, and small insects. They feed by grasping their prey with the modified front pair of legs. Sexes are separate. Females carry their eggs in a brood chamber between the thoracic legs. After hatching, juveniles are carried around by the female for a few days before being released. Young undergo direct development with no independent larval dispersal stage. Young look like small versions of adults. Juveniles reach maturity after several molts, without any metamorphosis. As a female ages, the number of eggs that she lays after each molt increases. Some amphipods have been observed to live through 13 molts. Amphipods are sometimes confused with isopods. However, isopods are flattened front to back, have gills in a different location, and only have one uropod. Amphipods are important in the diets of some fish, and often serve as intermediate hosts of parasites. Animals like sponges, sea urchins, and anemones often provide suitable habitat for amphipods. Some amphipods associate with pelagic salps and jellyfish. Some even construct their own homes using amphipod silk from leg glands to bind sediment or algae together. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.